Hi everyone! In case you've been wondering what I've been up to over the last weeks, well, I got another brand new course. I mean, technically, it's an update for our existing React the Complete Guide course, but it is a brand new course. I completely re-recorded the entire course from the ground up. It's all brand new, brand new lectures, brand new examples and demos. And I did re-record this entire course because I wanted to make this course as good and as future-proof as possible. I wanted to start with functional components and hooks right from the start. And that's why I did recreate this entire course. If you were part of this course, you already got it as a free course update. So you already do have that update then. Otherwise, if you want to learn React in the best possible way with the best selling React course you can find out there, now might be the perfect time to join it. And of course, below this video, we got a nice discount for you, which gives you this course at a very nice price. Now, in the next minutes, I'll quickly walk you through what changed with this update, and then I would love to see you on board. What did change? Of course, the general structure is the same. We start with the basics, components, props, state. But since I focus on functional components and React hooks only, the lectures, of course, are not the same. Instead, I did re-record everything. I did replace all the modules and lectures in this new course. And it's not a one-to-one -one replacement because, of course, I introduce hooks very early. We dive into the different hooks, the problems related to them. And therefore, whilst the general concepts are the same, the content of the lectures is not. And as I mentioned, I also picked up lots of feedback you provided and I, for example, got rid of that one big course project which we had, the Burger Builder, and I instead added many smaller, more focused projects so that there is more variety and it's also easier to switch between sections and you don't have to go through all the other sections first just to dive into some advanced section. So that's why I have a brand new course and why the general structure is the same, but the content is not. I do encourage you that you have a look at the course curriculum and at section one of this new course to get a good overview of its structure and of the content and which concepts are taught where. Because it's a huge course, if I cover all of that here, this will be a two hour video. So please have a look at those existing resources. Now the update also brings some brand new content which you should not miss no matter what your current status is. If you completed the old course, if you just started it, there is some content which you should not miss. As mentioned in general, you should check out that full curriculum and that first course module. But then there are some specific sections which I want to highlight here, which you of course also find in that curriculum though. For example, there is a brand new Next.js section. I mean, all the sections are brand new, but this also has way more content than the old Next.js section in the old course had. And I definitely recommend diving into that section therefore. It's a huge section, more than three hours long, and it really gives you a great in-depth introduction into Next.js, which is a framework for React that helps you improve search engine optimization, that helps you with server-side rendering, and that's really worth a closer look. I also added a pretty big React summary module to this React course, which is a great module to dive in if you have limited time and you don't want to go through the entire course just yet, or if you took the course in the past and you want to get a quick wrap up and summary of the core React features. So definitely also have at least a brief look at this module. I also recommend that you dive into the brand new routing module, since there I use React Router version 5, whereas in the old course we used version 4. The differences are not huge, but the syntax is slightly different, so definitely have a look at that. It's also simply better with all your feedback I got. And also explore the new Redux modules. Redux still works as I taught it, but here I now also do not just teach Redux, but I also explore a Redux toolkit in addition, 
which is a great library that makes working with Redux simpler and therefore you should definitely also check out those sections in this new course. I did also add a brand new testing module, a brand new authentication module and a brand new React plus TypeScript module. And for example, React plus TypeScript was not covered in the old course at all. Definitely also have a look at those modules since those modules also contain lots of very important and useful information which you should not miss. And as I mentioned, I also got rid of that big burger builder project. Instead, we have many smaller demo projects and examples. So also have a closer look at all the course sections that have practice or project in their names. Now, one important note about the testing authentication and React TypeScript modules. Those modules are not unlocked yet. They will soon be unlocked because I'm currently hitting that maximum lecture limit here on Udemy and therefore I can only unlock them once I removed the old course. 